right, my sexy welding people from YouTube, you guys already know we're going to do the formula to do planches torque calculations, all right? Let's get it. All right. So here is a planche. It has four bolts, pretty simple stuff, right? I mean, for this, you don't need no formula. You know, it's only four bolts. So, I mean, all you have to do is cross them, right? You know, you can start from the bottom, you can start from the top, it doesn't really matter. But, um, you always want to do cross. You know, like, for example, this one right here. Um, we have one right here, right? So, bear with me, guys. I'm just going to have to do this all. Record the screen and show you guys. You guys probably already know. But, this is number one, right? Right here. Then, this one is going to be three. This one is two. And this one is going to be four. I just grab another arrow to show you guys. All right, so that's it right there. You will do cross. There's a cross right there. It looks perfect, 100%, no problem. But how about if you need to torque 48 volts? That's right. This clench right here, this sample right here has 48 volts. If you don't have this sheet right here, how do you do it? Well, you're about to know, all right? So let's get it. All right, guys, so this is a formula. You grab a piece of paper, right? And you do this separation right here, all right? So you have one right here, okay? Then three, all right, two, four. Notice how all the nuns numbers are on the left and the pairs are on the right. Notice that pairs on the right, two, four, three, one on the left. That's right. So this is a formula that works for, I believe, all the way to 50 balls. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, if you have to do, a, for example, 16 balls, you always want to mark them. All right. So what you do is you go one three two four right so what's up to four five so you go to number one then number two six number three that will be seven right so seven and number four eight okay so after eight you go with nine so you start in and um you start with one so one two three four right one, three, two, four, so one, five, then you jump to two, and then you go to three, and then four. Notice how all the pairs are on the right and all the non numbers are on the left. Alright. Uh so a five feeder, a boss of mine taught me how to do this, so I remember, so I wanna share with you guys. Okay, so after eight, you have nine, right? So we go to the one, and then so we go to the two. That'll be ten, right? So ten, and then we go to the third, third road. So that will be eleven, third road, eleven, right? And then we go to the fourth road. You have to pay attention here. It's kind of if you're paying attention, you'll be like, what? So eleven. I mean twelve. Sorry. All right, so now that you understand, let me repeat. All the all the non numbers are on the left, all the pairs on the right, all right? As you can see here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 12. So after 12, it's 13, all right? So we go to the first road, which is right here, okay? So 13, right? So this is the first road. We go 13. Then we go to the second row, which is right here. It's 14. All right. Then we go to the third row, which is right here. So that's where we mark the third row. 
15 and then we go to the full road which is right here full road and you know one two three four all right so this will be 16 right 16 perfect 100 percent all right so the next step and final step i'll show you right now i just want to show you guys that you know we mark these roads like this one three two four all the first numbers are on the right all the non numbers are on the left don't forget that all right so next step you have your flange right here with all the balls so you're gonna go from left to right always left to right no matter where you start you can start anywhere on the flange anywhere but you know if you start in the middle if you start on the bottom you have to go right okay but for me to not get confused I'll start in the middle on the top so number one so we start with the first row then we go to the right so first row is 1 5 9 13 okay so remember always to the right first row then 9 then 13 all right now you will think that you want to go to the second road which is the number two but now we're just going to go to the next road three and then seven eleven and fifteen all right perfect hundred percent remember always go to from left to right all right so now we start with row number this is two and six and ten and fourteen always from left to right clockwise like if you what put in the clock all right so last row four eight twelve and sixteen all right so there you have it now it's perfect hundred percent you always go clockwise to the right as you can see here one two three four five six seven eight you know everything's perfect hundred percent nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen all right and now you know how to do this formula when you have a bunch of bolts um you know maybe you're not a bolt up but this is a good thing to know captain manny if you like this video don't forget to share with your friends all right and i hope you guys stay safe out there i hope you guys are welding not getting sick so this is a formula with all the errors all right but i'll see you next time stay safe out there and